North Korea has likely deployed its troops alongside Russian forces in Ukraine. North Koreans may be assisting with the launch of KN-23 missiles, The Guardian reports. According to the media outlet, North Korean military engineers are likely assisting Russia in launching ballistic missile strikes against Ukraine. Additionally, some North Koreans operating in the occupied territories of Ukraine have already been killed. One of The Guardian's sources stated that dozens of North Koreans are positioned behind Russian lines in teams that support launcher systems for KN-23 missiles. The first reports of North Korean presence in Ukraine surfaced last week. At that time, South Korea indicated that North Korea might send its military to Ukraine in support of Russia. Shortly before that, media reports mentioned that more than 20 soldiers, including six North Korean officers, were killed near Donetsk in a missile strike on October the 3rd. As noted by The Guardian, foreigners have previously fought in Ukraine as mercenaries on Russia's side. However, if North Koreans were present on Ukrainian territory, it would mark the first instance of a foreign government sending troops in military uniform to support Moscow's war. Joining the war on Ukraine gives North Korea a chance to test weapons, gain combat experience for its troops and bolster its standing with a powerful international ally. The Guardian reports. Earlier this summer, leaders Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un signed a comprehensive strategic partnership agreement which included mutual assistance in the event of aggression against either country. At that time, Putin also tried to persuade Kim Jong-un to open diplomatic missions in the occupied cities of Donetsk and Luhansk. The Pentagon expressed concern, stating that North Korean soldiers in Ukraine could become cannon fodder. Recently, some Ukrainian media sources reported that more than 20 occupiers were indeed eliminated in the missile strike near Donetsk on October the 3rd. Among them were North Korean military personnel. Earlier, we wrote about how many troops North Korea might send to Ukraine to aid the Russians. Recall, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine confirmed a successful attack on the 67th arsenal of the Russian Ministry of Defense's main missile and artillery directorate located in Bryansk region. This site stored munitions from North Korea. Hurricane Milton brought powerful winds, a storm surge and flooding to much of Florida after making landfall along the Gulf Coast as a Category 3 storm. It weakened to a Category 1 storm as it moved through Florida early Thursday. Power outages were widespread, and deaths have been reported from severe weather. The cyclone had maximum sustained winds of 120 mph when it roared ashore in Siesta Key, south of the populated Tampa Bay region. A storm surge was affecting a long stretch of Florida's Gulf Coast, including densely populated areas such as Tampa, St. Petersburg, Sarasota and Fort Myers.